Hey, welcome back. My name is Sid Sixero. This is BT. November is Diabetes Awareness Month, and today there are more than 5.7 million people in Canada living with either type 1 or type 2 diabetes. Joining us now from Manitoba to talk about a breakthrough in the fight against the chronic disease is CEO of Symar, Mick Lott. Mick, good morning. Welcome to the show. Appreciate it. Good morning, Sid. Thank you for having us. Uh, it is an absolute pleasure. Let's dive into it. Your family's on a mission to cure diabetes. What hormone did you find, and how can it potentially reverse type 2? Okay, yeah, great question. So um, my father uh, has, has uh, come out of the University of Manitoba with 30 years of research. Uh, his focus has always been on the liver, so he's never really been uh, paying too much attention to uh, kind of the traditional um, areas of the body that you'd think are responsible for type 2 diabetic. Um, and uh, he's actually discovered there's a hormone that he's named hepatolin that is found uh, and produced in the liver that's missing from a type 2 diabetic. And so this is a huge paradigm change, uh, a, quite a massive discovery. Of course, it takes time to understand what, what he's found and what that means in terms of getting this out uh, to share the information with the world and also to getting some products that will help people out to market. And so this is really what we've been working on for the last uh, you know, decade is uh, how do we take this breakthrough, get it out to market where it's going to make a difference to people and save lives and save money in the healthcare system. And when was this discovered exactly? It was first published in 90, 1996. Uh, and of course, things take time. You know, uh, penicillin took 30 years to get to, from uh, initial, uh, uh, you know, discovery to a point where it could actually save lives. So we're on the same type of, of path. But uh, you know, we're now into we're moving away from our preclinical work, which has demonstrated that um, that uh, ther therapy that influences this particular hormone can actually reverse type 2 diabetes. And now we're moving into our human-based trials and actually doing a lot of work out in the community because it, for us, it's really important not to just come up with a magic pill that's going to solve the, the, the physiological problem, but actually look at health and wellness from a holistic perspective. Because you know, going forward, the only sustainable solution to a problem that's affecting almost half the world's population, um, and it's ex increasing exponentially, um, every year uh, is to find a solution that's going to incorporate not only a, a more effective medical intervention and treatment, but also look at uh, lifestyle intervention and treat health and wellness as a holistic kind of systemic approach. And that's what we're, that's the mission we're on. We're, 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 we want to change the world and do it, uh, do it with a combination of, of new medical paradigm and uh, an appropriate lifestyle intervention. Absolutely fascinating. Mick, uh, people at home also need to know you're also working on a new way to detect diabetes. Please fill us in. Yeah, so because we have a, a mechanistic understanding, the breakthrough is at a fundamentally, you know, uh, a, a, a different level. We're not just kind of throwing, you know, um, spaghetti at the wall and seeing what sticks and treating a symptom. We're actually understanding the problem at the root. Uh, and so we're, we're, we're tackling it in that way. And so what we've, de what we've done is we've designed a suite of products that will allow us to detect early uh, pre-diabetes, a type 2, through uh, measurement of a paddle in action following the meal. Um, we've also we're, we've developed a nutraceutical that actually prevents uh, further progression towards the disease, and that's uh, in development. And we are also working on this therapeutic that in our preclinical work has demonstrated that reverses the diabetic state post-meal. And if you look at the type 2 diabetic, a type 2 diabetic uh, doesn't have a problem uh, in the fastest state. The, the problem occurs uh, after you eat and what it does with that nutrient load. So there's a, there's a nutrient partitioning process that happens uh, following a meal. And, and part of the glucose needs to be stored in muscle and part of it needs to be stored in fat. And what we've been able to demonstrate is hepatolin is actually responsible for over half of that glucose, lo glucose load being stored in muscle, whereas insulin is doing the work and storing the, its portion in fat. And, and that's, a, that's, that's the breakthrough, and that's a really significant piece for us. So if we can deal with this lack of a paddling in a type 2 diabetic, we'll be able to solve this problem. Uh, but, you know, it's really important to be clear, we don't want to see another generation of kids and young people that are going to be medically dependent for their health. We want to ensure that going forward, there's uh, an appropriate blend of medical intervention for people who are sick right now because we need it. You know, International Diabetes Federation says, 
that someone dies from type 2 diabetes every 4.26 uh, 4, 4.2 seconds and that's not acceptable and nor is it sustainable and so for us we have this sense of urgency in Canada 50 percent of our youth will become type 2 diabetic if there's not an appropriate and holistic intervention uh, and if you're an indigenous community uh, the youth in indigenous communities are much more uh, pro disproportionately affected uh, and we're looking at about 80 percent of our indigenous uh, youth and, and this people's hair should be on fire we should be running around uh, you know focusing on this and so we're we're really coming to the table with that urgent sense that we've got a solution we're going to move that forward but at the same time we're working with partners in the community that are out there uh, grassroots initiatives to look at at mental health, uh, lifestyle around getting outdoors, being you know being active, moving, uh, looking at diet, looking at food security, all those things that are important for holistic wellness and, a, and and you know and a good quality of life. And what we're trying to say is, if we can put some money into the first seventy percent of people's lives and looking at preventative holistic health care, then we don't need to pour all that money into the, the last, you know, 20% of, of, of that's where our health care dollars are going. So I think it's a combination working collaboratively with groups that are out there looking at lifestyle and systemic change, Absolutely. as well as a new paradigm in Absolutely. science. That's what's going to solve the problem. I mean, problem. listen, because we know the listen, funding between the, the feds and the provinces right now for health care is a whole separate issue. But, it's a whole separate but, issue. But prevention does help we got we're a little late here mick but it's fascinating yeah. where can people quickly follow online in terms of of the testing and where 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 you are on that yeah, great, Sid, thanks. What, what, what we've done is we've created a platform to tell our story and the stories of other people doing, you know, amazing work. And we need momentum. We need support and, and people to cheer us on. And it's an interesting story. And so what we've done is we've created a YouTube channel called the Manitoba Moonshot. Uh, for us, we're trying to eradicate this disease. And this is a global project. It's a, it's a multi-generation commitment from us. So this is our moonshot. And uh, we've created a place where you can uh, subscribe and follow us and support us along the way and see how you might get involved. But more so, just get on there, subscribe, and, and uh, join us. And uh, we're going to tell the story of all these amazing people and communities that are out there doing this work. And uh, we are going to win this battle, and we're going to do it together. And if you want to join us and support us, then we'd love to have you. The oh. ManitobaMoonshot.ca. And uh, come over and subscribe to our channel. It's a very young channel. And so the more people jumping on now, the more momentum we get to tell the story and well, share. With people like you involved, we're going to win it. Uh, Mick, let's, awesome. let's touch base again. We're not done here. All the best to you. Yeah, you bet. Take care. Thanks, Sid.